Why is it that I can understand and agree with these work ideas and even have a small measure of practical experience, yet be unable to apply them consistently in my daily life? Well, that's the question, isn't it? That's the question for all of us who have gotten to the point, who have come to the place where we have begun to realize something about ourselves. You see, this question can't even be asked by people who haven't begun to observe themselves, who haven't begun to value this work, who haven't begun to allow it to enter into them and to mix them up. Because that's what it does. It enters into you and it starts doing surgery. It starts operating on you. And what happens is surgery is not pleasant. Oh, let's all go to surgery. Oh, no, let's not. We get filled with fear and trepidation when we go to surgery because it's, it's pain and it's problems and it's recovery time and it's preparation time and we don't like that. We'd rather go to a party. Let's go to a party or let's go to surgery. Which would you prefer? Well, let's take the party. Well, let's, let's, um, let's go to a movie or let's go to surgery. Well, let's go to a movie. That sounds a lot better. See, it all everything in life sounds better than surgery. Everything in life sounds better than changing what's not right with you. Let's change what's not right with life. Let's not bother with not, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's life. It's these people. It's those things. It's the government. It's this and it's that. It's criminals. Those are the things. It's crime. That's not good. Poverty. That's not good. Sickness and death and all those things are not good. But I'm okay. We just get rid of those things and, and we'll all be fine, okay? We'll all be fine. Let's forget about the surgery now, okay? Can we just forget about the surgery and just have a nice time fixing all the things that are wrong with the world? Yeah, let's do that. And that's really where we live. But this work says, no, the weather isn't the problem. You're the problem. What's going on out there isn't the problem. The problem can only be dealt with by you in you because you are the problem. It's how you are responding to what is going on. That's the problem. We don't like that, but if we begin to accept it, if we begin to accept it, if we begin to see the truth of it, if we begin to, to see that our lives will never be under control, any kind of control whatsoever, we'll never have any kind of control until we can see that we must be able to control ourselves. We must be able to control our machine to some degree in order to have some control in the world. When we begin to see that and accept that, these work ideas enter into us, but they grow and they collect other ideas. And what happens is we begin to understand the ideas. We see how they work together. We see how they are they're familiar with one another. They're family. There's different families of ideas. And this idea is familiar with that idea. And then the ideas begin to join up and we see the pattern. And we begin to say, oh, yes, this is how it works. And so that's the understanding part. Yes, you can agree with the work ideas and understand them and even have a small measure of practical experience, but be unable to apply them consistently in your daily life. Yes, consistency is the difficult part because change of change of our inner being is not something that just happens in a moment. See, all of the change of your inner being that just happened in a moment changed back. <laughs> it did. I mean, we all know this thing. You go to a seminar for 72 hours. You are sold, man. You are the, you're the, you're the poster child for this seminar, for this workshop, for this new yoga technique, for this new, um, pill, for this new, whatever it is, whatever it is that you got sold on. 72 hours later, uh, what happened? Well, it wore off. Well, what happened was you never changed. It didn't get deep enough inside of you to change you. It may have changed a couple ideas in your head, but that wasn't a deep internal change of you. Change, deep internal lasting change takes a long time and a lot of effort. And there's a lot that goes against this. All of life goes against this because life doesn't want you to change. Life wants you just the way you are. People want you just the way you are. You change too much and people in your life get annoyed. It threatens them. It bothers them. So they don't want that. So everything in life is trying to keep us from changing. This work is trying to help us to change. And so consistency is a difficult thing because we expect results sooner than we have any right to expect results. And it takes a great deal of effort. And we're not used to making a great deal of effort, quite frankly. We're not used to making a great deal of effort. We're used to having things given to us. We're used to having things magically done. We're used to having things instantaneously delivered. We're used to ordering a pizza on the telephone and having someone deliver it. Why should I cook? We're used to having somebody, we take our car. Well, here, you wash it. We just 
get out of the car and give the man some money and we watch it go through the car wash thing. And, oh, isn't that nice? And then people come out and they dry it and isn't that nice? We're, we're giving them jobs and, and now I can not have to wash my car. Everything for us is that way. Everything is, well, let's have somebody else do it. Let's have somebody else do it. It's not something that I really want to make effort to do. And we think we do make effort. We think that taking the car to the car wash was a big effort. We think that ordering the pizza was a big effort. Uh, which, which, do I want pepperoni or do I want pineapple? Oh, decisions, decisions. That's our big effort. So that's the reason that um, we're unable to apply those ideas. 